Hello and welcome to the Hydronic Aqua System series of videos that will take you through all you need to know on this system. Please take a moment to read the disclaimer. We will cover the following topics. System overview, installation, including mechanical, electrical and initial commissioning, operation, service, such as winterization, maintenance and troubleshooting, and where to get support if you require. Let's start with the system overview. The hydronic aqua system is designed to heat the air in the living area and provide hot water for sinks and showers. It works on the principle of circulating a heated coolant and utilizing heat exchangers to transfer that heat to the air and water as required. Air is heated on the two silencio tube heat exchanger units that have integrated fans to move the air being heated. This system automatically adjusts the fan speeds to regulate the rate of heat transfer and maintain a consistent temperature. Menu selection of fan speeds is also available. Water is heated using a heat exchanger, without the need of a hot water storage tank. Cold water is pumped into the heat exchanger as needed and increases temperature by absorbing heat from the coolant. The heated water passes through a thermostatic mixing valve to regulate its temperature before going onto the fixtures. The primary heat source is a diesel or gasoline burning coolant heater, Hydronic S3. It works to maintain a constant coolant temperature by adjusting its output based on the heating demand. It is rated for operation up to 3000 meters or 9,800 feet, due to the automatic high output module. Even though the Hydronic S3 heater is one of the key components of the Hydronic Aqua system, we will not be covering the operation of the heater in details, but instead focus on the whole Hydronic Aqua system. Detailed information specific for the heater can be found on other videos or on the heater manual. There is also an auxiliary electrical heating element that can provide additional heat when connected to a switched 120 volts AC power source. The system is controlled by the touchscreen. There, it can be selected the heat source, hydronic S3 heater, or electrical heating, and what is desired, system off, air heating, or water heating. There are several other functions, for example, troubleshooting and other configurations. In terms of applicability, the hydronic aqua system is intended for installation and use in RVs, motorhomes, work vehicles, and other similar applications in order to provide heat to the vehicle interior and also to water for sinks and showers. The system is not approved for long-term continuous operation applications, such as for heating residential rooms, garages, work huts, working homes, hunting lodges, and houseboats. The system is available in two versions, depending on the fuel type. Here is shown the installation kit part numbers for both the diesel and gasoline versions. The only difference between them is the hydronic S3 heaters, all other components being the same. Let's go over the main components included in the kits. The hydronic S3 coolant heater, the fuel metering pump, the combustion air intake silencer, the exhaust silencer, the coolant pump, the touchscreen display, the input and output controller, the high altitude module, the air temperature sensor, the coolant reservoir, the white cord for the electric heating element and thermostat switch, the water plate heat exchanger, the thermostatic mixing valve, the two units of Silencio 2 air heat exchangers. It is also included the electrical harnesses, exhaust and intake pipes, mounting brackets, fuel line and some adapters, coolant and PT fittings, and some fastening parts. It is not included in the scope of supply the 120V AC source switched via 12V, as well as the scan diagnostic tool, fuel pickup pipe, coolant hoses, hose connectors, hose clamps, additional extension wires and connectors, and possibly other components required depending on the application. Here we have a brief overview of the system main specifications. The hydronic S3 coolant heater 
is rated for 12 volts, with a low voltage disconnect at 10.5 volts. The maximum heat output is 5 kW, or 17,000 BTU, working on diesel or gasoline depending on the version, and consuming a maximum of 0.67 liters per hour, or 0.15 gallons. It consumes up to a maximum of 32 watts during operation, and up to 135 watts during the startup phase. The electric heating element has a heat output of 1.5 kW, or 5000 BTU. The fuel metering pump cracks open when the inlet pressure is above 2.5 bar, or 35 psi, so the fuel tank pressure should always be below this value. The coolant pump has a nominal current of 1.6 amps maximum, and delivery rate above 500 liters per hour, or 110 gallons. Each Silencio 2 air heat exchanger has an electrical power consumption of 16 watts. The touchscreen, the input and output controller, and the high output module consume low currents as it can be seen. Thanks for watching, and until next time!